Hi Felters and welcome. How are you? I hope you've had a good month and thank you for coming back to see me again. Um, we are into the Burr months. We're into September now. It's the 5th of September already. So what have I been up to? A uh, couple of changes. I got some nice shelving units which I'll show you in a sec. I've also got these storage things for my wool because of the kit wool now is starting to take up space. So I've got these. They were really cheap off Amazon. Uh, just perfect. I'll list them below. I finished my rabbit. Um, he's up there. I think you can see him. Um, I've also got a new phone. So I hope the angles and everything are going to be all okay. And I hope the quality is a little bit better. But to be honest, I don't think you're going to notice much of a difference. Phones are so good these days. So I finished um, Mr. Well, he's a hair technically. But I still think he looks a little bit like a rabbit sometimes. But I'm really pleased with him. But he took ages. Um, it just took way too long doing it was a planting method but then I was mixing all the wools as I went along and he just took so long so for him to be a course I think it's a little bit unreasonable so I'm going to try out um, a couple of other different styles before I come up with a hair course and it also might be a snow hair I'm not sure uh, I am just working on a very fluffy highland cow uh, I'm trying to I'm thinking of a, a next kit I know one kit that I'm going to do first, but the kit after that, oh, I don't know why I'm going to become a kit person, <laughs> sort of enjoying it a little bit. Um, but it's not going to be in that colour, so I'm just trying out styles. And I have my craft fair anyway on Sunday. Today is Monday. So I've got to um, make things for that. Anything I make now will be going in the craft fair. I, I sort of have enough items because I have the kits and cards, you guys know, that's going to fill up my table a bit. Also, I have a challenge on for my Patreons and we are doing a bird that we have not done before. I'll just get the wools on what I'm doing. I am going to do this as a video, so you've probably seen this already, but just to show you, I found this model of a kingfisher and I kind of had all the colours hanging around. So I'm going to do a kingfisher. Hopefully I did it all right by the time you see this, but it's the 5th and it has to be done by the 7th. So finish Mr Cow, do the kingfisher. Got to go to the post office for a couple of orders over the weekend, which is always fantastic. Thank you very much. Anyone who's ordered my kits or cards lately. Let me just show you those shelves. So these are the shelves and they are something like £25 for 10 off Amazon. So they are cardboard, obviously, but I just found that I was looking at some of the other shelves and they were like £30 for four. And I thought, well, that's too much money. So it's great. So I just managed to sort of fit everything in them neatly out the way because it was all just sort of sitting up here on my shelf and it was really actually hard to get to so I've got these here um I might sort of extend them across there I've got another six there but yeah really really good I'll list them below in the description but yeah it's lovely I've got everything in there and they've got little perspex fronts too there's Mr Hare yeah please he's done there we go. He's not mounted to that wood board. That's just a display board that I've got. Um, also, I still have a problem. I keep buying wool and I shouldn't. So we went away, which you saw at the weekend. I bought that at the Yorkshire Wildlife Park. Can you believe it? They've got lots of shops. Um, but I love the colours. This is going to be really good. It's just a massive, that's the name of it, because everyone asks me the name of my wools and I always forget. Uh, once you take this off, you kind of throw it away, don't you? Um, so that's going to make a nice sort of sheep coat effect and then I bought another one of these that's a nice colour too um, I think I showed you these from Zoe Robson I'm not sure mixed Scotland lamb really really nice because it's lamb lamb's wool is normally a little bit softer so I've got two of those as well so as you can see my um, ability to use up all my wool and not buy any is rubbish so right let's just get on with the really fluffy cow this is what color am i using hydra so it looks a bit ready there but when it comes out it's pink really i just want a pure pink once this is just a, a practice so right let's um oh yeah and just to show you for my patrons prizes for this i ordered and i'm sure did i show you at the end last time these are from Border Felts, these kits, and they are little pots and you felt the top of them and the foxglove one on the left there is almost 3D-ish. But yeah, Border Felts, she has some really gorgeous kits um, and I pay for these. She doesn't even know I'm doing this. But um, 
her poppies ones are so beautiful so yeah really really recommend having a look i haven't opened them obviously because they're for my patrons but uh she's had good reviews so i should imagine they're excellent mm. okay so she's done a uh, bit of a punk rocker bit of a wild child um not quite what i was going for but she's a highland cow with attitude i think she'll definitely go to the craft fair that's for sure but uh good color anyway so fun to make now on with the robin no sorry not robin kingfisher when we wake hear the birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done all the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright So I got this from <laughs> Zoe Robson, please for you. Hand dyed Swiss Ballet Black Nose, 200 grams. But uh, I just think I could do something really nice. I might do a Highland Cow with that. <coughs> Excuse me, brush it out. I've just made up some more kits, which you sure saw ready for the craft fair. I recorded a podcast this morning. And I'm about to do the draw for my Patreons for the challenge. So, yeah, keeping myself busy around here. Hi. So, our Queen passed away two days ago. Um, it's a big, it is a big thing. It's very sad. She was a mum, grandma, you know. We all knew she was going to pass away. And it is a big change. And we've got a king now. And I think she was known worldwide. Well, obviously she was. But I think she was respected and admired worldwide as well um so it is very very sad um, she was a constant i mean i'm 48 and she was there the whole of my lifespan and for most of my parents you know as well so it's quite something for her to not be there anymore but it's very sad but yeah we've got a king and hopefully everything will go smoothly everyone will be happy with him and um yeah so it's interesting times anyway um so i have got craft fair tomorrow i am all packed up um i think you can i think you can see some of the boxes and i've got them on the floor i've got everything ready i think i've got everything i need i've just got to charge a few things um i take a big sort of electronic battery pack so that i can charge things there if something runs out as well but i always have to remember to charge that because that takes about six hours i'm just trying to make um a last piece to take with me if i finish it great if i don't it doesn't matter i try to be a bit relaxed about that i've priced everything and i'm taking the kits and the cards as well um so that's great we've also had a postal strike although apparently it they cancelled it yesterday and i didn't realize so i could have posted things yesterday not that People are going to be all right if things are a bit late. I've explained why. But I went to two post offices this morning, Saturday morning, and they were both shut. And then this affects my star seller, which if you're on Etsy, you understand about these things. It's a bit annoying. I don't panic over star seller whatsoever. If I don't get it, I don't get it. I personally reply to messages as soon as I can because I think that's important and good customer service. And sometimes if something is sent a little bit late because of a postal strike, not because of any other reason, it's not the end of the world so i'll probably lose the star seller but they've split it up a bit now so that some parts show and some don't i did another podcast and i got that up and put that on and I'm fairly happy with it i think it's okay it's funny with podcasts i haven't work, worked out how to monitor if anyone actually listens although someone did join my youtube channel from the podcast because they they sort of sort of heard the podcast 
and then they join. So that's really good. That's the kind of it's increasing awareness, isn't it, for needle felting for the craft. So it's really good from that point of view. Um, I should be felting whilst I'm doing this. Um, I've had a couple of, well, quite a few new joiners actually to Patreon. I reduced the price down to uh, £2.50 for everything. I just want that to be one tier and um, there's not much pressure on me to do loads of extra videos, but there's lots of other things on there that we do. So yeah, I've had a couple of new joiners, so that's been really good. And the number of subscribers on my channel has gone up a little bit, so that's good as well. So we'll be off to the craft fair tomorrow. Hopefully it'll go well. I don't know. It's a bit of a funny time at the moment, but I'm sure people will be out. Um, and I'll show you a little bit of that, hopefully. And I just wanted to say as well that I don't know whether we're going to be putting bunting out tomorrow. So I thought I'd better get some. And my friend, Sarah, and my neighbour, she has a business called Oso oh Yorkshire. And she sews. She's a fantastic sewer. She sews everything. She does bunting. She does uh, lampshades, cushions. She does like dog bags, all sorts of things. Um, I will link her down below. It's Oso oh Yorkshire, which is a really good name. And this is her bunting that I just ordered. I ordered double sided bunting. I ordered it the length I wanted and um, here we go look it's got lots of different designs on it so it's really good and I'll keep it and use it again in the future and it's three meters long it's really she's done a really good job she's ironed it it's also beautiful so if you need any bunting or anything like that please do contact her she's on Instagram so um, have a look oh so oh so Yorkshire that's Sarah so definitely so again definitely have a look at um, her Instagram if you need anything sewn so it's the morning of the craft fair sun was shining which is really nice all the mist is in the valley so it looks really pretty so i thought i'd show you let's go down to the office pack the car so here we are the office is all loaded up ready to go all empty well apart from all my walls let's get going this is my um, pdf list for craft fairs uh, which i've got on etsy i always go through it every time before i go I wanted to say I'm leaving a little bit earlier than normal because um, I haven't practiced the setup, which is fine. It's only the differences, the kits and the cards. I kind of roughly know where they're going to be, but um, if you haven't practiced something, it is just a little bit like, oh, how's it going to be? So I've given myself an extra 20 minutes just for that. So hopefully that'll be okay. Um, I'm wearing something quite warm because it's in a barn. I've also got a blanket. Um, it does get notoriously cold there, but you just can't tell. It looks like it's going to be a sunny day. So you just don't want to be too hot or too cold. Both of those are really annoying. So try and carry enough stuff for essentialities, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, let's get there and um, I'll show you like the before and the after when I'm setting it up. Everybody's singing oh, everybody's singing oh. I don't know what it is about you. It must be in the way you move. Just say you want me to. We got nothing to lose. You're looking so oh, you're looking so oh. Now I'm moving closer to you. And it's getting dark in this room Tell me what you wanna do Baby, let me love you, let me love you Let me love you, let me love you Hi, so it's Tuesday um, Craft fair was Sunday How did it go? So it, it went uh, okay-ish, to be fair Because it was the Queen's um, coffin was moving down through Edinburgh So... We were kind of were a bit concerned that there won't be wouldn't be that many people out and it did feel a lot quieter but anyway so i did about 270 which is very good but it's a bit disproportionate now because that's not definitely not all profit i sold six kits i can't believe it um people were really interested in them and really liked them and it was really like oh i'll have one of those i'll have one of those have one of those so it was like an instant buy for them 
Um, so yeah, that's really great, but obviously I lose £13 of cost and then 10% commission for being there. So I've worked it all out and taking out the costs, I made about 165 Then take out the costs of wool for the other animals, that's about 140 And you think £140. So I didn't sell that many creations. I sold about eight or nine creations. I think seven or eight creations. And you think, is is it worth it, really? You think £140 for that's my labour for, for doing it and it's hard craft fairs are hard it it is worth it it's good to get the money back isn't it and then you reinvest it in but do you feel you've done really well I don't feel I've done really well even though I did sell quite a bit so the good thing to note was that the kit sold well so I'm going to try and work on another kit which is the one I've had in mind for a short while and it makes sense because if I make the pdf for it that pdf will go on etsy and then make the kit but again it just takes a little bit of time because I've got to order the instructions order the stickers um, I'm going to try and use the same box boxes because um, I complained about the boxes splitting because a couple of the boxes split um, and they sent me a whole another load for free so that's really good and the boxes have stopped splitting so that's even better because I said to them you know I don't know why it's happening I really want to order from you so um, but they said it seems to have been a faulty uh, batch. So it's very kind of them. They sent me a whole load of boxes for free. So I'm going to still try and use the boxes because I like the size of them. And it's going to be three sheet baubles, I think. So I'm just going to work on those. Um, I've got an interview with Tracy from Birdie and Blossom on Saturday, which I'm really looking forward to. I've just done a couple more of these because, <clears throat> you know, these are the ones I sell all the time. Um, you guys know them. They're so popular. So... I kind of in my head just thought I only had three weeks till the next craft fair. I skipped out all of October in my head and my daughter said, oh no, you've got about seven weeks. And I was like, oh yeah, but I was trying to get these done really quickly. Um, I just wanted to show you this as well. Uh, sorry about the glary lights, but it's the only way I can sort of light it up because otherwise it goes all dark. But anyway, so I've got this shelving unit to replace this one because when I have items on this one and people are there, some of the items get lost um, back a bit and people can't really see them. So I'm just going to keep that one there and that's great for storage. It's fantastic. I can fit quite a lot on it. I probably don't think I'll take it. But um, this one is, and this is literally the height it's going to be. So the horse is going to be really high, but it's great because I don't want anyone to touch him. So put him out of the way. But it just, I think, brings things more to people's attention um, and it folds flat. So, sorry, fingers. So it was really good and it was about £36. So yeah, I know it's, you know, quite a bit. But um, yeah, I'm really pleased with it actually, seeing everything on there now. So this will go to the next craft fair with me. I'll uh, pop it in the description below if you're interested. So this is the food and drink festival, as I just said. Oh, this is one of our shops down there. It sells plants, but look at their beautiful autumn display. It's so nice. So there's lots of stands selling food and drink. This stand here was selling huge Yorkshire puddings. She's holding one and they fill it up with roast beef and vegetables and gravy and you eat the, the Yorkshire pudding like a sandwich. So that was really good. So these um, dogs that you can see, they're snow dogs raising money for charity painted by local artists and schools and our village is Holmford. So we're known for last of the summer wine. So this is the main characters in it. But um, it was a lovely day. We were really lucky with the weather. They also have... Um, some things for the children to do in some of the parks and then they had these beautiful birds this bird's quite young that one um really really lovely and then this i found on one of our post boxes so that's nora batty and compo and this snow dog is um sort of on the way up i love that one and then i bought these which i'll talk about a little bit later this was my trip to birdie and blossom to tracy's beautiful studio she let me come up and have a look round. These are some of her creations and yeah, her video was so worth it. Really good. And this is the badger that I was talking about. He's really, oh, I just really like him. And this is her corner of cupboard where she's got all the items that she hasn't finished or that she made for tutorials. It was absolutely stuffed full. So it was really, I had a great day. So I interviewed Tracy on Saturday. I think I'll just put a, a sort of a, a mini bit of footage. The interview, oh yeah, 
it was 51 minutes long and that was with me cutting out quite a lot but there was so much there that was useful that um I wanted to include it I just I've just never put a video on my channel that's 51 minutes long but if people want to watch it they'll watch it and if they don't they won't so you know they have the choice and then the podcast of that is going to be even longer but that's normal for podcasts because podcasts are quite long but anyway I really didn't want to cut it down because everything she said was so useful and it was really helpful and um, it was just sort of all essential anyway so that's up there but I had a, such a good time and she's so lovely and we are going to sort of meet again in the future, fingers crossed. But Tracy, if you're watching this, thank you so much for agreeing to let me come round and invade in your house and see everything. Um, I ended up doing this sheep. I'll show you here. So don't laugh. Yep. <laughs> it's, it is a valet. It's like a massive, it's got legs, unbelievably massive pom-pom. So when I was sort of practicing for the baubles, that went slightly wrong. So, <laughs> but anyway... Um, and what happened was, in the end, let me just take you down here without making you too dizzy. These wolves just, uh, they were sitting up on the side and they just kept calling to me and they wanted me to make this Highland cow. So I'm doing this Highland cow um, and then I will sort of get on with the um, baubles and the, the next kit. So yeah, I'm getting through this and I've got Yarndale on Saturday. And these earrings, which I showed you that I went to the, let's see if they will focus... There we go. Um, I went down to the Food and Drink Festival at Hongfath and I bought these. These inspired me to do my next pumpkin tutorial video that I'm going to do hopefully next week. But um, Mrs. Cutefelts is coming, by the way, to Yarndale, so I'm really looking forward to that. Um, she's going to stay here with me for a couple of nights and then stay with one of my other patrons as well. But um, yeah, right, so getting on with this cow. So I can't remember when I last spoke to you, but um, it's the day after the Queen's funeral. It's Tuesday and it was just an amazing, um, it's not the word celebration is not the right word, but obviously it was quite something to watch all of the Queen's funeral yesterday. It really, really was. So, um, yeah, I went down to Unity which is the shop where I sell my items. And kind of like last time I went, I knew they were a little bit roughed up. They weren't where I wanted them to be displayed. They were a bit too low. So I didn't say anything last time. And I went in today and there's one of the cows in there is like one of my favorite cows that I made. I, I made him uh, for a card that I was gonna do. He's really sweet and cute, but he's just getting battered and, and beaten up. And nearly everything had to be repaired in some way. And I sort of went back up to the counter to see her because she works behind the coffee shop bit as well she was on her own today and I said look I'm I'm gonna um take them because they really are getting sort of all touched and and ruined a little bit and she was really sweet and you know it's business isn't it I'm not being I'm not saying it's her fault it's just that's what happens when you leave things in a shop and you can't watch everybody because it's so huge and she said look you know out of um everybody your stuff's been selling really well so I have sold about 300 pounds worth I think in the past two months payday's coming up soon because they pay you once every three months there <laughs> so I'm looking forward to that but um she said uh I really want to keep your stuff so she said shall I put it back up high and I said yeah that'd be great and she'd put it on sort of a wool display so it was like on uh sort of wool fiber and so it was sort of the wool was catching on the wool and everything was looking looking a mess one of the cows there he's 48 pounds uh, he's one of my sitting Highland cows, but he was so messed up and and he's starting to get matted and I just thought, I can't, you know, no one's going to pay that much now. But anyway, I neaten them up, put them all aside. She's going to put them up in a display a bit higher, make sure she has a sign on it saying no children, which my original sign, which she's put out the back, sort of does have it further down saying these are not for children. But anyway, so I'll give it another six weeks and see how it goes. Um, and make sure as well, I want to see that when she pays me, does she pay me um, exactly what I believe? Is it exactly the same amount? Because obviously if you have to start having discrepancies over that as well, it would be a little bit awkward. Um, I ordered, because I've got Yarndale on Saturday, I ordered a, an old Yarndale bag because they were selling them for about £3. Um, I don't think that's really wrong, do you? I don't know. But um, I really, really like it. It's a really nice bag actually, £3. And then I ordered one for... 
Mrs. Cutefelts, who's staying with me as well. So we'll, we'll sort of have um, bags when we go there to put all our wool in. So looking forward to that. Right, cracking on with this. This is just quickly my World of Wool haul before Yarndale and I just sort of speeded up the first bit. I bought about seven or eight bats of 200 grams each. This one, now it's WTB225 and it is a gorgeous, I think it's something like, not fruity too, just like rainbow colour. Yeah, it's like got all speckles of like rainbow colours in it and it's carded so that's really lovely well CWS 12 but I think it's just eggshell if you look up eggshell colour it's the colour I use quite often for hands and feet faces right then I got this one which is G8 so like I said just go on world of world type in G8 and it will come up with the actual thing uh, this is like a peacocky colour it's a bit greener there you go, then it is on the camera. Absolutely. Well, you'll see in a minute why I want that colour. And then we've got a GL10, a gold one. Um, I've used this before and it's quite tricky to felt these bits in. Um, and I know they're going to discontinue this, um, they said in there as well. So if it's something you're after, GL10. FB4. I might try and put the names up if I can, but this is a green with, it's almost, it's quite similar. Well, no, it's got flecks of orange and yellow in it. Um, but again, I just, it's, it's not something I've got plans for, but I really like that colour. Then I've got a CWSJ. I have no idea why I bought this. I think I just like, it's a very beigey, light brown and it might be usable as a coat but um oh that that definitely smells sheepy that's lovely um yeah so that's um, a nice one which i think i'll just use as a top coat and then i know why i got this one uh cws pp1 and this is sort of it's going to be the base for something but it's carded and it's in the slithers that's in they're all in that's in the slither and these are the tops so that's those. Actually, let's move these out of the way. Everything's building up. And then at the door, they have what's called the botany... I think it's called the botany bar, bin. Botany bin. And this is all from the botany bin. And it is 220 per 100 grams. So you just see what's in there and pull it out. And it could be end of line stuff it could be someone's asked for a custom blend and they don't know what to do with the rest of it so i mean that's just a lovely red um that's a lovely sort of light fawny brown color that i just bought because it's a typical highland cow color and that one so all of that <laughs> was from the bot botany bin and what happened was i bought all of my stuff and then i stood there with my friend while she was buying and then I just bought some more because I was standing there for so long I kept going through it so that's why they put it by the door so you do that and then just to show you so I'm doing something I think I can show you now and you'll probably guess I'm not doing an actual peacock but I'm doing something to do with it now the, these were in let me think Lidl Aldi these were in Aldi uh, little um fat quarters you know of material I just like that one it's just really really beautiful don't know what I'll do with it I don't sew that much but I've got to do something with them and then these as well so these really work with the idea I have going forward for the future for all of these sort of colors I think you can 
kind of guess, but it's not exactly, I'm not exactly doing a peacock, but yeah, so that was World of Wool Hall. I had a really good time and that came to, so it was £4.32 because I did that second purchase and £78.21, so £82 and that is, not being funny, that is a lot of wool. Um, especially I had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bats as well. So anyway, really, um, I, I, World of Wool really is a good price in my head. Um, so I, I think it's definitely worth going to visit if you can just to go and have a look around. But the good news is that I am going to be able to go and video in there soon. So that will be uh, a video coming up. Look, I've just crammed it all in there. <laughs> These bins are so useful and I'm just going to shove it under the desk and no one will know that I bought that much stuff. <laughs> so it's Tuesday after, so we had Yarndale, which was brilliant, and I'm sure I've shown you some of that footage. Um, I'm down to, I had three kits, or three, three kits ordered over the weekend. So I've posted those. I'm down to one kit, so I've just ordered a load more wool. And I think this is the good, the general cycle of trying to keep up with kits really and then I've ordered more of the other bits and bobs it's just like keeping your inventory and making sure you don't run out um, and so I am developing that sheep kit this week it's kind of like I have to do it um, I've had fun I finished this Highland cow let me show you him so he was just a bit of fun I just wanted to try him see what he would come out like but yeah, quite pleased with him. Interesting, isn't he? He's different. I think he needs a tail. I think he looks a little bit lost without a tail, but there's so much wool, I wasn't sure. felters so it's coming towards the end of actually sorry it is the first today so hopefully I'll get this up tomorrow or Monday I am finally doing these sheep why do you procrastinate over certain things there's things you don't want to do sometimes I have kind of been busy <laughs> went out this morning I got a load of conkers so something coming up with them and one of my lovely patrons Kathy gave me some of these um, acorn tops at Yarndale uh, when we met up and I'm going to do a few little bits with them as well so it's cozy autumn winter vibes coming on um, I really do it is lovely as we say putting the jumpers back on isn't it um, so it's been really busy October no September sorry uh, what with Yarndale and everything. My kits, Highland Cow kits have sold out at the moment. I have all the wool. I've just got to spend an afternoon making it all up, getting woolly. Um, but we had Mrs. Cute Felts over, Ganita, who stayed with me and then stayed with another of my patrons afterwards. And so that was really good. She is going to do a travel vlog of um, coming over to Yarndale so that'll probably be good to see again from someone else's viewpoint. Corner of Craft who I mentioned uh, that I bought something off at Yarndale is a lady called Hannah. Uh, she dyes wool and she does um, stitch markers who I bought a stitch marker off her. Um, she mentioned my video in her video of Yarndale so that was really nice of her and she has about 80,000 subscribers more than that now. And um, I think I got a couple of extra views on that Yarndale video because of it. So, yeah, really busy September, but lots of, like I said, cosy, fun things coming up and pumpkin-y and things like that. Autumn is really great. Really enjoying it at the moment. Um, she's looking so, so, his head looks a little bit funny in there. <laughs> Hopefully he'll look all right. Um, oh, yeah, move the legs out a bit. But if you've made it this far in my vlog, as always, I am eternally grateful because 
views are what count people don't realize but yes subscribers are fantastic and i'd love you to subscribe if you're watching this and you're not subscribed just press that button because it's free um but views are what really count so thank you so much for being here and you know give it a thumbs up if you did enjoy it because again those things count for the channel but thank you so much i hope you have a wonderful month of felting and we'll see you again next month take care everybody bye